I'm just going to read this statement that Dan left on my desk. I'm a little far gone, but I have zero regrets. Great program. I'm so glad I joined. I just think I'm a little bit further off the trail than dudes in this group. The premise of that message that Dan wrote to me was somebody that was going through the program and he was gauging his comeback, his journey, his experience of his own life, his internal workings of what's going on off of a lot of you guys here, okay, um, who are going through the process. Now, where I want to go with this is that last line right there, <clears throat> or not the last line. I just think I'm a little bit further off the trail than dudes in this group. Basically thinks that he's too fucked because he was drinking a fifth a day, right? I believe is what it was. And his mind is telling him tricks and it's making it like a competition. He's seeing other people's wins. He's seeing all you guys do the stuff. And I'm just going to kind of clear the air right here and just talk about my shit. So I literally drank 50 to 60 fucking drinks a day. And that's no joke. I mean, Dan, you're at my wedding. You heard the stories. You heard the shit that people were saying. Um, there, there was no, there, there is no way fans or buts about it. This is not a competition. Um, not one that I wanted to live. Um, the, the fact that I would drink myself to the point where I would fucking be almost die. On top of then feeling myself full of cocaine, um, heroin, fucking handfuls of pills. I remember a day that I would eat, I ate some morphine, like at whatever time it was. I, and I'm fucking doing great, man. I'm driving, trying to fucking, like living my life, driving a fucking loaded up Escalade, like making money, successful. But I remember eating this morphine and turning the day into like three fucking days because I'd end up nodding out and like falling asleep and getting back up and falling asleep. My point is this, my story is my story, day real story, or his story is his story, Dan's story is his story. I see some people commenting up here, uh, for you guys that are catching this, because I don't think he's on here, catch this on the replay, I'm talking to you too. Nothing fucking matters. It doesn't matter how much you've done, how, how, how many fucking chicks you've banged, how much drugs you've done, how much I've done, how much everyone's done, walked this, this, this story of their life. What matters is you decide to make the commitment. What I hear when I read this, and because I care is I hear somebody who's telling me, man, I'm not ready to commit to myself. This is a blatant fucking lie to themselves. I'm a little too far gone. Like that statement right there, just giving up on yourself. Period. So I want every single one of you guys to kind of restart that mindset and understand your journey is your fucking journey. Your comeback is your comeback. I had to start over seven fucking times hurting myself day in and day out, but I never quit. And neither are you guys. It all starts with the mindset of not quitting. And the truth is, you guys are here because you're fucking winners. You guys are here because you expect excellence of yourself. And that's what happens in your mind. When you start, you start gauging your comeback off of somebody else's because it's not as excellent or as up to the par of what you want to be or the person you want to be. You see somebody else, Frank Harville just popped into my mind, the dude's fucking killing it. Right? And you see people killing it and because you see these guys winning, you start going backwards. And that is fucking hiding. That is the alcohol lying. That's the fucking the deep rooted shit lying. That's you giving up on yourself and saying in my little note that Dan left for me, I'm a little too far gone and declaring that you're fucking powerless. And I can't stand for it.